This video is going to be all about fish oil, how to find that right fish oil product that does what you need it to do, and how to not get scammed by good marketing. There's tons of fish oil products on the market, and if you don't know what you're buying, then chances are you might be wasting your money or getting something that's actually not healthy for you to begin with. So my name is Dr. Philip Oob. I'm a functional medicine doctor here in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to help you understand fish oil. So first of all, every human being needs to consume omega-3s in order to have optimal health. Um, we've always lived on fish as far as caveman days and whatever prehistoric times you want to talk about. Uh, humankind has always survived off of fish. At least if you look at the people that live the longest, they eat a lot of fish, a lot more fish than um, Americans. And so when you're looking for a fish oil product, you're trying, you're basically saying that I'm not going to eat the fish, so I'm going to take the fish oil. Everyone needs 2,000 milligrams of fish oil per day. So if you want to eat the fish, then you'll just have to go and calculate how much fish you're eating, how much per week uh, or per day, etc. If you're taking a fish oil product, then you want 2,000 milligrams of total EPA and DHA per day. My usual goals are EPA 1,400 milligrams and DHA 600 milligrams per day, per 24 hours. So how do you find out how much fish oil is in the fish oil you get? Well, you have to flip over the label and you actually have to add up the EPA and the DHA in order to find out how much actual fish oil is in it. When you consume a fish oil product, you're actually going for the omega-3 oils in the fish oil. You're not trying to get all the other fish guts and other fish oils because fish, fish make other oils just like humans make other oils. The primary one you're going for is omega-3. So you only want the EPA and DHA. The other stuff doesn't really matter. You don't want to fall prey to any kind of marketing about omega-6s and 9s and 11s and 15s and whatever else they put on a label. The primary omega-3s that the human body does not make are, or the primary fish oils are, uh, oils are omega-3s. Your body cannot make fish oils or it does at a very, very low rate. Um, and it can't really manufacture plant-based omega-3s either. So that's the other marketing scheme. Do not fall for plant-based omega-3s. While plant-based omega-3s are important, those are much easier to find in the diet with flax, chia, hemp, um, vegetables can, can give you sources of plant-based omega-3s. So primarily you want to look for fish-based omega-3s or marine sources of omega-3s. They always come from animals. So krill is an example, fish, sardines, salmon, all those are different types of fish oils. Um, algae does make fish-based omega-3s, but it's really expensive and it's hard to find um, the correct dose that you would need. But if you're vegan, that's your only option for fish oil is algae-based. So I'm not a big fan of krill oil, and I'm about to tell you or show you why. So one of the most popular brands out there is Mega Red, and they've got good advertising and good marketing, and, and they're, it's, it's convincing to get their product. But whenever you take an omega-3 supplement, you're looking for the omega-3s in it, not how much fish stuff is in it. So the problem with krill oil, and I'm picking on Mega Red right now, but there's tons of other brands out there that do the same thing. All the krill oils are basically the same. So a typical capsule is 500 milligrams. I'm not sure if you can see it on my iPad, but a typical capsule is 500 milligrams. But that doesn't matter. So if you look at that, you think, oh, Dr. Rube says I need 2,000 milligrams and there's 500 milligrams per capsule. So that means I need to take four capsules per day in order to hit my goal. Well, if you look at the breakdown, if you actually zoom in on the label and see how much EPA and DHA there is, there's actually only 64 milligrams of EPA and 30 milligrams of DHA, and this is in their high dose, right? And so that's a total of 94 milligrams of omega-3. So let's round it up to 100 to be simple. So in order to get your 2,000 milligrams of omega-3 from Mega Red, you'd actually have to swallow 20 capsules per day to get the omega-3. Now, krill oil got famous because it's got astaxanthin, which is an antioxidant, and that's heavily marketed, but that's not why you're taking an omega-3. If you want antioxidants, there's plenty of other sources of antioxidants. You're taking fish oil to get the fish oil benefits. And notice they're marketing just one time a day. So people really go for it because it's a small capsule. It's only 500 milligrams, and it says only one a day, but you're not hitting optimal omega-3 levels. So one way you can know if you're hitting optimal omega-3 levels is you can test for it. You can ask your doctor to run an omega-3 index and see where your omega omega-3s lie and it can tell you if it's plant-based if it's fish-based and where your ratios are so now I'm going to pick on Costco so Costco's brand Kirkland fish oils um, I'm not going to say they're toxic or anything like that I'm just going to point out their label so I got this online from the Kirkland manufacturer um, and so their label is it says a thousand milligrams of fish oil per capsule well that's great 
one trick you want to make sure you're looking at is if it says a thousand milligrams per serving and you look up here and it says two capsules is one serving then that means you have to do some more fancy math so if it's two gels as two capsules is 1000 then you actually take four capsules per day but this one's even worse than that so let's actually look at the label so a thousand milligrams come from fish but 250 of it are actually epa plus dha so when you see omega-3 fatty acids epa plus dha 250 milligrams. So there's not a thousand milligrams of omega-3 in here. There's only 250 milligrams per capsule. So to do some simple math, in order to get to 2000 milligrams a day, you would have to take eight capsules per day. These are big capsules. They're not as small as acryl oil. That's a lot of capsules per day. If you want to do that, you're welcome to, but if only 250 milligrams are omega-3, that means you're getting 750 milligrams of other oils that you may not need. They may not taste good. So if you're gonna eat oil, you might as well um, eat something that tastes good because oil generally tastes good. And the other issue is whenever you're getting fish oil and that's kind of cheap, you don't know where it was farmed or raised or caught or wherever. Um, and you don't know if there's heavy metals in it. So if it's not extracted, then there might be heavy metals in it. The other issue that's going around right now is of course the Fukushima radiation that came off of uh, Japan and is now in our oceans. So um, there's several different brands that, that we use as far as fish oils. Um, the one we carry in our office is Metagenics. Um, Orthomolecular has a good brand, Zymogen and Pure all have great fish oils. So I'm not gonna say that there's any one fish oil that's better than the other. I'm gonna tell you to aim for 2000 milligrams of EPA and DHA or omega-3s and then get your omega-3 levels tested. Okay, the higher quality brand manufacturers, um, they typically test for Fukushima radiation. So that's something that you can use as a requirement of whether you wanna get that fish oil or not. Um, that's about all I have for fish oil. So I've seen way, people make way too many mistakes on fish oils. Make sure you're reading the label. Make sure you're getting the product that works the best for you. Because if you take eight pills of these per day, you might actually be paying more than you would for a high quality brand and taking way less capsules. So I hope this video is helpful. Please share it with anyone that you know is taking fish oil so they know if they're taking the right thing. Have a good day.